Hello guys, we are back with our next lecture. In this lecture, let us continue our previous lecture in which we are discussing the methods of forecasting our demand. So the second method which we will be using is nothing but the statistical method. So statistical method is majorly divided into four that is nothing but trend projection method, barometric pro method, simultaneous equation method, correlation and regression method. Okay. So the trend projection method is further divided into five, sorry, further divided into five types guys. Trend line by observation, least square method, please practice problems on that and a time series analysis and moving average method and sorry and exponential smooth smoothening method so we'll be discussing about these five methods in this lecture guys don't worry so in the next lecture we'll be going through these three fine okay so based on statistics by using some formulas we get the various values about the future so like what will be our future estimation or earnings like that we'll be getting the values so these are used only for long-term businesses guys because in this all methods we need some past inputs so that's the reason why only long term will be having the inputs right like six months what is the income in the last one year or one decade like that so fine so the first thing i told you trend projection method so basically in trend projection method we need any old firm can use this method so assumption on old data will be getting our new data guys so in that the first method is a trend line by observation right i hope everyone remembers that fine so this is a graphical method by plotting the scale data and according to the line we will be assuming our future so if your line this year is in this way we will be assuming it will be greater if it is increasing every year by 0.5, you'll be thinking that this year also it will increase by 0.5 like that. So if it is being doubled, so it will also double by this year also. So like that, you'll be just by observing the graphs, you'll be just assuming guys. So similarly, least square method. So this is the problem which you should practice guys. This is one of the important and easy problem. So least square method. Under this method scale, estimations are prepared on basis of the analysis of the past data. So we'll be using these three formulas guys. S equal to X of YT. Here t is nothing but the time guys. So sigma s equal to nx plus y sigma t. Sigma st is equals to x sigma t plus y sigma t square. So if you observe this, you have we have already discussed this topic in uh, mathematics, mathematics and statistics guys. Fine. So once we are going through the problem, you'll be compulsory, you'll be getting an idea guys. Okay, so here the year is given and sales. Like in units it's given. So every year, this many units. So he asked us to estimate for 2008 and 2010 okay so the first thing you'll be writing is year and the year number so year number is nothing but the you'll be starting from one guys and you'll be checking the difference so here the difference is two so here also difference should be two so one three five seven nine so everywhere it is two so here also i'll be maintaining the two okay so you'll be adding this this is nothing but your sigma t that is nothing but year or year number Okay, so after that sales, sales is nothing but given in the question 75, 84, 92, 98, 88, that is nothing but sigma s is equals to 437. Guys, you should remember this formulas guys. So if you observe in the formulas, we need x, y, these are nothing but the problem formulas, we'll be observing it guys. So we need x, we need s, s, t, t square, t, t, fine, so even x, t also we need. So we'll be just calculating them guys. So st we need, so we got, we will be just multiplying these two. So we got st. Similarly t square, we'll be squaring this. So we got this. So we'll be doing, applying sigma for that. So our two equations, our two equations are these two guys. Sigma s equal to nx plus y sigma t. Similarly sigma st is equals to x sigma t plus y sigma t. So just to substitute the values here x y, here x y are unknowns guys. So basically you will be finding the values better to use calci. Please carry carry calci for your exam and use calci guys so our final equation will be in this way s simplifies s plus y t here t will be your year number so similarly if you write for 2008 it will be 11 and 2000 to 2010 it will be 13 right so 11 and 13 substitute once 11 and once 13 so you got two values so this will be your lakh units guys so that many lakhs of units will be sold in that particular years so i hope everyone got a clear idea on this okay so let us continue with the time series analysis guys that is nothing but the third method in our first part so time series analysis so time series analysis observes the record over the particular period of time so like in the last six months if it is acting in this way we'll be assuming that in this six months also it will be better than if it is comparing by, with the previous years with respect to time so records include profit sales revenue and cost many variables in firms fine okay so after that we are having one more method that is nothing but this is also a simple method guys that is moving average method so in this we will be using a small trick guys it seems to be funny but it's really simple to do 
So this method is applicable to know the demand forecasting of such a product which is neither having great variation nor secondary demand. So it is not having a proper demand and everything. So it is a normal demand, normal demanded object. So average is done for this guys. So let us assume the compute three days average for the following following daily stats date. So let us assume there is a sales for per day it is given guys. So he asked for three days. So you will be considering three days as fourth day. So S4 is equal to sum of the three by three. Similarly S5 is equal to sum of the three by three. So we got 34 and 37. Okay, so that will be your results that is asked guys after three days, right? So these will be the results for day four and day five. Fine. Okay. Similarly, we are having one more method guys. So this method seems to be a bit easy because according to the formula, you'll be just substituting them and you'll be getting the result. So exponential smoothing. So it is a method calculating the average. Okay, so please don't read that guys. I just cut it. So I think the definition might be wrong. So let us go through the formula. So ST plus 1 is equals to CST plus 1 minus CSMT. So you'll be getting the words guys. Don't worry. What are those words you'll be understanding? Don't worry. Okay. So initially in the question, concept of the exponential smoothening, he gave time and sales. So here if you observe and even in the question, he gave the value of C also. C is nothing but 0.1. So he asked us to compute 6th and 7th year sales. So we need to compute this value and this value. So in our previous method, we have added them and average. We did average, right? So this is also a method in that way. But here you will be using some formulas. So here C 0.1. So C 0.1. So we are calculating S of T plus 1. Guys, this T plus 1 is is T plus 1, guys. Not it is T, not ST plus 1. Complete plus 1. It is T plus 1. Fine. So here if we are calculating for 6, it will become 5. It will become 5. So we know that C value is 0.1 and ST is a sales at the before th year. So fifth year is 6.9 and 1 minus C, 1 minus 0.1 is 0.9 and S, S into MT. So SMT is nothing but this value guys. So here we will be getting, if we do all the average, we'll be getting this value guys. That is nothing but 22.1 by 4. So we got 5.525. 5 so that will be substituting it here. So we got this value. So this is for 6th year. Similarly for 7th year. You will be just substituting the same values. But you'll, here you will be substituting the previous year. right? So S6 is nothing but 6.1. Similarly average still here is 5.525. So that will be substituting here. So we will be getting some value. So in this way our mathematical or statistical method will be statistical method will be working. So in the next lecture we will be discussing about the other 3 methods in statistical method. Thank you. Thanks for watching.